I was uh, asking, see if you had any questions, because our final exam is going to be next class meeting. That's going to be next Tuesday. And uh, final will consist of uh, two problems analogous to the midterm exam. You already know what two problems to concentrate on. So just look at those sections that we uh, talked about last time. So one of them was uh, section 5.6. That was a uh, last section in chapter five that we worked on. And the other section is section 7.4. So 5.6 will be one exercise and uh, from 7.4 will be the other exercise. So I recommend that you probably do a problem from each section and uh, that's what I did last time. And that should be good enough if you will be able to redo the same problems that I provided you with. I, last time I emailed you and worked out the problem from section 5.6. And we also did look at the problems in the section 7.4. And this all appears in the lecture recordings that we had uh, prior. And uh, you could just uh, check those recordings and see which ones could be the most interesting because I worked out uh, in very details uh, problems that we needed. So today I'm looking forward to hear if you have any particular exercises that you would like me to do either from these two sections or any place else so we can just uh, finish with our preview before the final exam which i told you is going to be a test too not really a big exam just two exercises of the types that you already know how to do them but again, one needs to take them seriously. Don't party on Monday night before the final. Just party on Tuesday night after the final. That'd be the best plan. So it doesn't sound that you have lots of questions to me. Well, let me do one. Since I opened uh, section 7.4, I can do problem like number nine, for example. So we can recall how hypothesis could be tested and the key idea is to write down what the claim is so it looks like they talk about uh, florida everglades how about that and they say that uh, they have various measurements and the bottom temperatures recording uh, have one mean with a uh, standard deviation of also some value and there are 61 so that's a sample size that they considered so 61 of those temperatures and then the key part is word claim right so want to claim that mean is greater than 30 okay so let us write this down so we can see uh how uh to do this oh there are some questions so uh, is final going to be like a midterm the answer is yes and i sent you uh, the, you can have plenty of time for that the answer is yes of course and two exercises yes there will be two exercises uh the final going to be uh oh let's say same okay so yeah that's the uh, same thing as a midterm so i think you're already familiar with the format and that's the main thing. Why should I change to make some people panic, right? No, I don't plan to do this. So I'm looking at page 438 in our beautiful textbook. It's free. And uh, I just had a free textbook for my other class that disappeared. And guess what? Some students never bothered to download it to their computer. Well, just they were too busy, even though how many times I told people, download this, please download it, download it somewhere. 
They know, Alex, I don't want to download it. So now book is gone. So it's no good. Well, this book is present, so that's good for us. But make sure that you download it, right? Why not? And you will always be able to delete it if it starts to annoy you. You open your computer, see statistics, like, well, oh, that's annoying. So delete it. But the point of story, you need it uh, for another few days, right? So make sure that you download it. So anyways, I'm looking at the page nine. Yeah, because it takes a while to find it, and I do get disappointed when it disappears. But again, you should also do your part. Download it. Click download. Very simple. So anyways, <clears throat> and yes, it's disappeared for my uh, uh, intermediate algebra class. There are other books. I found another book, but that's not very convenient because, well, it's different chapters, a little different layout, right? And um, it's better to just use the same. So anyways, um, claim here that says mean is greater than 30. So I need to start with deciding H1 or H0, where does it go? Is there equal sign? The answer is no. So it's H1 automatically. The opposite will be H0. We can write down the opposite, which is greater. So the opposite is less than or equal to 30. So this way we have picture of H1 on the right side. And that's our start. So on the right side, I have that area called H1. And because it's greater, right? Greater. And H index 0 is on the left side. So level of significance is 0, 05. So that's uh, alpha, they call it. And uh, the key part is if this is point zero 0.05, we always need area on the other side. So it'll be 1 minus point zero 0.05, which is point 0.95. So it looks like we have these two values. 0, 0,5 and 95, and I need area from the left. The point of story, I am looking for the cutoff. I'm looking for Z square. So we'll find it. Let me just refresh this because I try to write it nicer and I get kind of, okay, now it's good. So look for 0.95 in the tables. <clears throat> So next Tuesday, of course, I will be logged into the uh, Zoom starting at 9.50. And uh, if you need me to clarify any anything for you, well, I'll be there. But uh, the idea is you should also prepare. You should have these tables available. I know if you don't have it, I can give you a link to it. This triola tables, that's how it's called. Author of this textbook is Mario. Triola, so just put Triola tables, very famous tables. So anyways, 0.95 is what I'm looking for in these tables. And uh, notice that for 0.95, area from the left is here, the arrow points to it. The Z score is 1645. One six four five. That's a special number because it's uh, exactly in between of those two where the uh, arrow points. That's asterisk place. So it's right in between of those two values. One six and then in between of zero four and zero five, it's uh, zero forty five, and that's why it's six forty five. So. Cutoff score is prepared. Now I need to deal with a sample. So now I need to go back to the data here and produce the favorite formula that's called a z-score formula that works with numbers that come from sample. So I just want to make sure I put parentheses with my numerator and with my denominator. So let me... Okay, here. 
So the numbers here are as following. Mean is 30.4 mean. So it's number I put here. The population mean is what is in the claim. So they compare it with 30. So that's where the population mean is pulled out. And that's the rule. Standard deviation. We had standard deviation 1.7, right? So it's here, 1.7. Okay. And that's what I divide by a square root extracted from 30. Oh, the square root from sample size n, which is 61. Parentheses are necessary around this difference and around my denominator. So we get something to calculate. Let's do it. 30.4 minus 30. And then you divide this by another parentheses with 1.7, which is divided by a square root from 61. So this is my Z score here. 1.83 dot, 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 right? Okay, let's write it. Z is 1.83 and more. So the question is H1 or H0? Where are we? Are we bigger than 1.6 or smaller? And the answer is, yeah, 1.8 is more than 1.6. So it's right here somewhere on the right for me. On the right, well, that's H1, right? So I say yes to H1, and I say no to H0. You say, Alex, so what did you get? I don't know. I didn't even read the story because it doesn't really matter in statistics. But of course, you can entertain yourself with this story. But that's not what I will expect you to do on the final. You just say yes or no to the claim. But you can definitely see that uh, we need to claim that uh, population mean is greater. So the average temperature and Everglades is more than 30 degrees in Celsius. I don't know why they go with Celsius, but whatever. So it is greater than 30 degrees. 30 degrees in Celsius is uh, pretty high, right? Let's say about 90 degrees in Fahrenheit. You just need to double it. You get 60 and add 30, so it's like about 90. So it's greater than 90. So we just uh, done the exercise. Typical problem with uh, word claim. So once you put it down, the whole process goes. And you will use the same exact formula. So you will just follow exact same footsteps that produced in this exercise, as well as in the exercise that I have done last time. So they're all same pattern. So if you had any problems uh, that you try it and uh, couldn't do let me know we'll do them right now it's a good idea that you try because if i keep doing it it's the uh, same thing i guess because they really are the same but you want to redo this redo this exercise i think this is a very typical exercise if you can do this one then you should be fine with the final exam exercise on tuesday right so if you don't have any questions, I'll let you go because I uh, don't collect any attendance today. No, it's like uh, up to you if you want to uh, have any clarifications on my side, but I'll let you go and uh, check your emails on Tuesday morning. I will send it earlier, of course, the final. And if you be having any questions on it, uh, some, some clarities, as usual, at 9.50, I will be on Zoom waiting for your questions if you have any. And if not, you don't have to be on Zoom. You could just do problem. And as you already know, you can take your time. Just try to send it to me same day on Tuesday. And check your emails, right? Thank you for coming. Check your emails. Make sure that <clears throat> if I don't receive it for whatever reason, totally my fault. 
but check your emails and uh, make sure that I got your work. And that's important because in a case I don't get it, I will remind you. So check if I sent you any reminders. If not, it means that you're fine. It means that you uh, send and I received your work. And then by the following class meeting, the next week, Tuesday, you will have your class grade. And then, of course, I will be able to discuss. So that's why we have final a little earlier, discuss on that day after final. And if you want to improve it, I never mind. i fine with that. So... So just uh, tell me and I will discuss with you what you could do to improve it. And I'm sure we'll find some way. I'm talking about class grade, but that will be uh, after the find, after the, in the next week. So if you don't have questions, I'll let you go. So enjoy weekend. Don't forget to, uh, Send me some work, some homework. You know, I'm not very picky on it. As long as you send me something that makes me happy, you may have a little less, that's fine. But send me work. Send me your homework so I can uh, calculate your class grade after the after I receive the fine. Okay, so I have a great rest of the day and very good weekend. And Tuesday is our big day, right? Next week, Tuesday. Don't forget, please. Bye bye. And so and if anybody wants to send me any work, late work, whatever, I will accept everything. But send me that because lots of times people ask, Alex, what if I send it to you work? Send it to me. I just keep saying, send me your work. Just don't ask me. Or you hope I'll say, no, don't send it to me. No way. I'm waiting. Send me your work. If you want to get a better grade, if you want to improve, please don't hesitate. 